apply parking brake, open the hood of the vehicle. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. Prepare a protective surface to place all vehicle components on. Front door speaker installation. Remove A-pillar by pulling straight and away from the door. Disengage any clips that remain in the door and return to the A-pillar panel. Use a panel tool to remove the cover behind the interior door latch. Remove the window door lock control panel. Disconnect to the connection. Lift the door panel armrest. Remove the two number two Phillips screws from these locations. Disengage the light assembly from the panel. Use the panel tool to remove the assembly, then disengage the connector. Use a panel tool or your hands to disengage the clips behind the door panel one at a time. Start at the bottom, then the sides, and finish at the top. Use gentle force to remove the door panel pulling directly away from the door assembly. Remove and return the window threshold to door assembly and any mounting brackets that came off during installation. Remove door latch assembly from the door panel by unsnapping and lifting the door latch connectors. Connectors need to be reassembled in the same orientation, white on top, green on bottom. Install the 6x9 speaker. Disconnect the 6x9 factory speaker connector. Remove the four 10 mm bolts holding the factory 6x9 speaker in place and remove the speaker. Mount the 6x9 OEM Audio Plus woofer by installing the four 10 mm bolts and reinstalling the 6x9 factory connector. Reassemble the door in reverse order, taking time to ensure all clips are engaged. Repeat this process for the other side of the vehicle. The rear door panel disassembly and speaker installation is near identical to the front. Follow the provided steps for both rear doors. Install the 6.5 inch OEM Audio Plus woofer. 
Disconnect the factory speaker connector. Remove the three 10 millimeter bolts holding the factory speaker in place and install the OEM Audio Plus six and a half inch woofer. Reassemble door in reverse order. Amplifier installation. On the passenger side front seat, remove the trim panels covering the seat bolts. Locate the slots on the trim cover and pry them off using the fork end of your trim tool. Using a socket wrench, remove the four 14 millimeter seat bolts on both the front and the rear of the seat. Once hardware is removed, tilt the seat back towards the rear of the vehicle. Remove the amplifier panel cover. To remove the amplifier panel cover, disengage the three locking tabs. Disconnect the amplifier connectors using a pick tool or precision screwdriver to release the main connector. Loosen the three 10 millimeter bolts of the factory amplifier and the single front 10 millimeter bolt of the amplifier bracket. Once the amplifier is removed, locate the 10 millimeter bottom bolt and remove the bracket in its entirety, locating the ground location underneath the carpet. We highly recommend sanding down the ground location prior to installing the ring terminal for best contact. Install the harness ground with the 10 millimeter bolt and tightened, returning the bracket to its original location and running the ground wire towards the rear of the seat. Return the factory amplifier and all factory mounting hardware. Install the OEM Audio Plus Evolution Series wiring harness. We are showing the connection sequence outside of the vehicle for best visibility. Remove any conflicting factory cable mounting clips under the seat. 
These modules can be repositioned cleanly to accommodate the OEM Audio Plus amplifier mounting. Remove the passenger side front threshold by pulling directly in an upward position. Disconnect the factory light connection. Route the side of the power wire with the Anderson connection towards the amplifier assembly mounting location. Leave the other side of the power wire bundle near the kick panel floor area for the time being. Power wire and ground connections for the amplifier will both be running to the back side of the front passenger seat. Position the amplifier assembly so that the rear bracket hooks on the rearmost spring. Position the provided amplifier mounting hardware to secure the front arm of the bracket under the seat. Install all connections including signal, power, and ground connections. You also want to make connections to the subwoofer at this time if applicable. This will include the power, ground, signal, and remote wire. Once all connections are made, clean up all wiring, reassemble the factory amplifier cover, and return the seat hardware. under the hood. Remove the four push pins of the cover under the hood on the passenger side of the vehicle. Locate the grommet for the main factory wiring harness on the passenger side of the firewall, directly under the factory wiring. Identify the unused nipple and slice off the tip to create an opening for the power wire. For best results, insert a 10 inch wire or cable through the grommet from under the hood and attach the power wire from the interior in the kick panel location. Remove the passenger side kick panel by unscrewing the black locking tab counterclockwise and gently pulling the panel away from its rested position. Attach the power wire or cable that you ran from under the hood to your power wire bundle and run the length of the power wire through the grommet.
Install supplied high temperature corrugated split loom to cover the power wires and insulate against extreme temperature under the hood. Run the loom's power wire towards the battery. Follow the factory wiring along the way for a clean installation. Removal of the factory cover on the driver's side is ideal for best access and for a clean run. Secure using cable ties as necessary. Return all factory covers and clips after completing the power wire installation. Remove the 12 mm bolt from the battery's positive terminal. Install the ring terminal of the OEM Audio Plus fuse holder lead. Reinstall the 10 mm bolt and tighten. Main amplifier has two power wires. Both receive a 25 amp fuse. Connect the power wire to the fuse holder by inserting the 10 gauge strip power wire into the yellow butt connector and crimp. Apply heat to activate the solder and heat shrink insulator for the best connection possible. If installing the subwoofer system, repeat the same steps for the power wire marked with the red tape. Clean up the loom and cable run at the battery location. Once installation is complete and all connections made, install the 225 fuse into the holder for the main amplifier. Install the sub fuse at this time also, if applicable. Subwoofer installation. If installing the subwoofer system, be sure to run the subwoofer signal, power, ground, and remote wire from the amplifier location underneath the passenger seat to the rear of the vehicle. Installing the subwoofer bracket and subwoofer system. In the cargo area, use a pick tool to remove the trim panel of the floor cargo net, exposing the 10 mm bolt. Remove the 10 mm bolt and hook assembly. Repeat this on both the driver side and passenger side cargo hooks. She danced, and I just couldn't get it. So I refused to call her mother, I called her lady. And she accepted that. I learned that love heals. Not sentimentality, but love. Remove the floor, lifting directly up from its rested position. On the passenger side, line up the front of the subwoofer bracket to the cargo net hardware location. Once this front bolt is lined up, install the two screws provided on the rear bracket, tightening down and locking in the position for the front mounting location. He was very kind to people who maybe needed someone to be kind. And her love heals me.
install the power wire, the remote end, and the ground to the designated receptacles on the subwoofer system. Install the RCA signal connections. Reinstall the cargo area floor and hardware, threading the passenger side hardware through the cargo net hardware mounting point, positioned previously.